Well, students, either high school or college, career professionals, today we're going to talk about the abilities to do academic planning and what it means to use the digital planner to achieve the results that you want in your personal and professional career. First and foremost, let's talk about why you want to digital plan. Now, we've learned through time, you can take notes by on paper, and your brain just recognizes what you're saying so much easier. By handwriting, you're 11 times more likely to remember something, and you're three times more likely to execute the task list that you write for yourself. You're committing to something that you write. So when it comes to digital planning, when it comes to student planning, when it looks at an academic planner, consider having a digital one because that handwritten notation is going to help you get the work done that you need to do so the vision, thoughts, and ideas you have for yourself make it to the mainframe of your daily life. Today I'm going to illustrate the KSS Planner and what it can do for you and how it can work. But before we dive into all that, if you're sitting here looking at digital planning, you're going to ask yourself a handful of questions and we're going to touch on those real quick. When it comes to devices, if it has a stylus, it most likely can work at the digital planner. It can be a Windows, Apple, or Android device, and there's a plethora of applications that work for annotations. If you're using a platform like Windows, you can use applications like OneNote, which is a universal application and will allow you to synchronize your notes across other platforms, as well as Nebo, which does the same thing, but from a PDF annotation. You can also use NoteShelf, which will allow you to use and take your notes on that particular device that you're using. And if you're an Android user, you can use Nebo, NoteShelf, or even Penly. These are all applications that we've covered so far in our tutorials, so make sure you check out the link in the description to learn about all the different tutorials on how to use these individual apps. And if you are an iPad user, you have so many different opportunities. You have NoteShelf 3, you have Nobility, you have GoodNotes, you have OneNote, you have Nebo, and you have all these opportunities that you can showcase your planner and all your digital notes on. And again, hit the description, check out the individual applications. Some of them allow you to sync across platforms. Some allow you to back up across their single cloud-based device, and some will only synchronize across the ecosystem. For example, GoodNotes will synchronize across other Apple devices, such as your iPad or your iPhone and your laptop, and Samsung Notes will do the same thing across Samsung devices such as a phone, tablet, or computer. But they necessarily won't synchronize those notes across to Windows devices or other platforms. So keep that in mind. The great thing about our planner is it works across every single application and all those devices. So once you choose your device and pick the application that you want to do your annotations in, our planner is going to work for you. So let's go ahead and dive into our planner and talk more about some of the tools and templates that are in it. And later in the video, we're going to talk about some of the benefits of using a paper planner and using tiles like Cornell Notes to really help you further your note taking experience. So if you're in lecture and you really want to get the most of it, that Cornell method is one that's very powerful and useful and is encouraged by a lot of different universities as a note taking method for you in your daily classroom activities. As we jump into the Key Success Academic Planner, we're going to show the illustrations in GoodNotes. The functionality of this PDF planner is going to work across all those applications the same. Utilizing hyperlinks, you can navigate from page to page. I'm also going to show you some screenshots of how it looks in OneNote. OneNote navigation is slightly different. It uses a tab method to get into each of the individual pages and sections. But I want you to know is the template and layout of each planner is identical across whatever platform or application that you're using. This is our key tab. In the, in the key tab, you're going to find a handful of things. It's going to be the, your go-to place. The one thing I want you guys to all think and understand about, as you venture into this world, you have a lot of questions about what is to come in your life. You have a vision for yourself. And we want to be able to take that vision and make sure that the things that you're doing each day really help you illustrate what that vision is. Our professional builder is an in-depth, personal professional plan that helps you see your vision, establish the right goals for yourself over the next few years, and helps you adapt to the surroundings so you can better yourself. And we have an entire video that focuses on this, and it's something that's a part of our business and executive planners, but we provide it to our academic scholars for free inside our academic planner. So definitely take a look at that. In addition to that, you're going to find a vision board where you can plot out your year and what it looks like for you as you move forward. 
You can see a bucket list of all the different things you hope to achieve. It be where you want to go, what you want to learn, how you want to grow, and where you want to create milestones and spaces in your life. And we have the annual keys, which are our cornerstone to develop in our life for our self, career, relationship, and community goals. As we jump into each semester, we have the ability to schedule our individual class schedules. We can see not only the course offerings, but I want you to think about the focus that you have in this semester. What is it that you have for a vision for yourself? What is your role in your success? As you look at that syllabus and you see all the different classes on your list for the year, think about what is the objective of each one of those classes? How do you want to walk away? What do you want to learn? How do you want to grow as an individual? From there, talk about the routines that could help you establish better studying habits, better educational growth patterns as part of your daily activities. And then I want you to have the ability to build out an ideal week. And an ideal week is the fundamental way in which you build consistency and routine. If you wanna have a social life, but be able to continue to have your fitness and maintain a space for study in class, go ahead and build out an ideal week that's gonna help you encourage that. As you move through the year, you're gonna have different schedules, you're gonna have different classes. So each year, as you move through the individual semesters, make sure you revisit this and build on an ideal week that continues to help you move forward. As we look into each month, you have a month out of view that you can choose from. You have the ability to have a budget plan that you can develop for yourself as we move through the year. You also have an expense tracker where you can go ahead and track all your expenses from the month. And you have our habit tracker. As we look at individual habits that you have for yourself, being able to track those habits to see if you're developing good habits and building on better ones, that is gonna be really functional. We also have a place where you can write down the challenges and opportunities that you are experiencing each week as you try to build out those habits. Something that I found for myself is when I go through a week and I think about was I able to achieve what I wanted to accomplish when it comes to my habits and routine, being able to recognize those challenges and opportunities really helps me then to go into the next week and encourage growth or corrective behavior so that I can continue to move forward. Back to the key tab, we also have our place for our goals. And this is a brand new page for this coming year. Not only has a place for you to outline your goals, but then if you take notes and write out your achievements throughout the year. And then we get into the assignments. The assignments area here, you can go ahead and use this as an index. And what's really powerful about this, I can go ahead and write the name of the assignment here, and then I can go ahead and tap on the actual hyperlink here, and this will take me to the assignment. So I can have a class assignment. I can show the date that it's due, the topic, the class, an outline, any important dates, where is it at in progress. And I can get back to that key tab, and I can also jump into class notes. This gives me a space where I can write out my individual notes for the class, summarize what I learned from it, what was the lecture recap, and is there any assignments or tasks that came from that session? And then what are the follow-ups activities that are needed? And then below that, we have our notes sections. And this allows us to take notes. Now, as we jump into each month, we can go ahead and jump on individual days and we have the ability to see our weekly schedule. And here we can go ahead and write our schedule, not only being our classes that we have, but also any social or extracurricular activities. One thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and write out my schedule and then use the lasso tool here to copy that entire week. And then from there, jump into the next week and go ahead and paste that week in from week to week. And this allows me to have kind of like a template for my schedule each week with all my classes and then be able to copy and paste that from week to week. As we dive into 2025, we have an entirely new weekly plan that's gonna give you the ability to have a seven day week pattern and it's gonna give you the ability to build action plans and focus each week in your academic year. These are some of the new and exciting things that are coming to the planner in 2024 and 2025 and you as someone that is looking to build on your academic studies, I encourage you to take a look at this planner. Now, one thing that's also really exciting, and this is exciting for not only people that are in the student and academic world, but also those that are in administration or a teacher. If you like this weekly planner, but you wanna have a daily focus, look at any of our four editions of our daily planner, if it be the personal, professional, business, or executive, and simply add on the student tiles to your order. This gives you our daily planner with all of the different tools related to your education that you can add on. So you can add in that syllabus, that class schedule, those class notes, that assignment sheet right into your daily planner by using it that tile. In addition to that tile, another tile that I think you want to check out is our Cornell tile. The Cornell tile is a tile that's going to allow you to be able to build your own 
note-taking ability. We find that people that use the Cornell method have a better way of recapping and summarizing all the notes that took place in lecture. And with this tile, not only can you use our templates, but you can also go through all these different elements and add in your own. You can even take the elements from those tiles and pull them into other aspects of your planner, if it be on a project page or a daily page. So as you start to think about your academic year and you start thinking about what would be the best student planner for you, if you have questions, go ahead, jump on our website. Go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Someone in the community will definitely follow up with you. With that being said, Lord willing, guys, we'll see you in the next video.